There is a massive difference between churchianity and Christianity. In scripture, it talks about the Pharisee and the tax collector. And it first shares about the first religious man, says that I have given to the poor, I go to church, I fast, I do all these things. And he's like, I'm not like that tax collector over there. I'm good. And you see, this story is a perfect picture of what is churchianity and what is Christianity. The man standing far off, the tax collector says, Oh God, have mercy on me, a sinner. The one who said that was justified, the other one was condemned, simply because he found his righteousness not in God, he found it in his good deeds. Christianity is not a religion that finds the worth and value in self, it finds the worth and value in Christ. Christ is the one who has came to set you free. Christ is the one who paid the price that you owed, that you didn't deserve by merit of your works was given as a free gift of God because he so loved the world that the world would be saved and redeemed through his son. So your works are not what saves you. What saves you is your confession of faith and believing in the one that he has sent. If we can learn anything from this story, it's as simple as this. Don't build your faith on how good you are. Build your faith on how good God is. And his mercy and grace is great enough to cover our sins because we are sinners in need of a savior every day of our life. We don't save ourselves from us. We are saved by our confession of faith through the work of the Holy Spirit that was done when Calvary occurred, when our Savior bled out on a cross, laid down his life for us. That is where we get our strength. We don't get our strength in how good we are. We get our strength in how good our God is. Change your thinking. You will then change your faith. The sooner you get this into your mind, the sooner that you actually live out the Word of God within your life. Too many Christians are going around thinking that they must go Go to church to be a follower of Christ and check a box when God is saying that you just need to be covering yourself with my son. You need to be covering all of your sins, all of your pains, all of your hurts with Jesus. If you could do it in your strength, then my son died in vain. Jesus did not die in vain. He died because he did what we could not do. So why do you think that now that you follow Jesus that you can now do it? You can't. We only have strength. We only have faith. We only have hope because of the cross. The cross is what sets us free. The cross is what establishes our faith. The cross is what gives us hope. It's not found in ourselves. Stop thinking you're so good. Our righteous deeds are like filthy rags to the Lord. But oh, how great and good is our God that he would give us a way. And that way was through the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father, except through his Son, Jesus Christ. Trust not in yourself, dear brother or sister. Trust in the name that is above every other name, that at the end of days, every knee, every tongue will confess that he is Lord of Lords, the Holy of Holies, that Jesus Christ's name will be established among all nations.